Have you ever heard of a singing tennis player? Well, I bet it's the first time today you will meet one. Uh, Chelsea Fontanelle is a 14-year-old Swiss tennis champion and she has sang on various stages as well. And she's here with her father and we would like to find out what it takes to support such a young career. Chelsea, so you currently rank within the top 20 in the worldwide under 14s. It's amazing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, what's the next step that you want to take? Well, um, it's definitely a big accomplishment and I'm, I'm very happy and proud of that. And um, now the next steps um, are to play um, older opponents. Now I'm playing on ITF under 18. So I'm competing um, internationally against older girls. And um, in order to collect these points, I need so one day I could start playing the junior Grand Slams. So you mentioned those points. I guess those points are really important for a tennis player, right? To be within that ranking. Yes, they are definitely. Um, and to get these points, you need to travel a lot. And um, I see many girls I know, um, they, they have these opportunities to travel and to collect these points. And that's why at the moment they are still in front of me. But that doesn't mean that they are better. It's just that they have the chance to, to go these places. What do you need, you know, in order that Chelsea can go traveling? Is, is someone providing, you know, paying for travels or do you have to do it from your own pocket? Well, um, if you don't have any sponsors, then you would have to do it from your pocket. So sponsoring is, is, is uh, basically what's needed because you have a lot of areas to cover, travel costs, hotels and... So it's not that if you go on a championship, they invite you and, you know, pay all the costs for no, you to No, not at all. <laughs> no, it's, it's not like that. You, you actually need to know what's going on. You, you need to know about the tournaments. You need to actually know how the system works to where you're going to go and play. So it's, it's left to you. you. You have to do it. So you actually sacrifice a lot for, your, for the career of, of your daughter, I guess. Yeah, well, for sure. If, uh, if the talent is there from young, then the sacrifice will be worth it. And this is what I'm basically doing, my wife and I. You know, It's really a teamwork. That is why it's, it's going so well. You know, the teamwork is strong and yeah. Okay, so uh, we are here at the Swiss Indoors and you were invited by one of your supporters um, where, you know, stars such as Roger Federer play as well. I guess you see yourself playing here one day. Yes, well, it is a little difficult to imagine because unfortunately Swiss Indoors is only for uh, men, like for ATP players. But I hope that maybe soon they will have we'll some, more, <laughs> some more WTA tournaments in Switzerland. Or, or, or they change it, you know, they open it for women as yeah, well. Exactly, some, yeah, exactly. I mean, at the, the, when you're there, you yeah. know. Well, Chelsea will start it, hopefully. <laughs> you will, and you will open it. Yeah. That's a goal. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I mentioned Roger Federer that has played here. He's also kind of one of uh, your supporters because you've been supported by the Roger Federer Foundation, right? Yeah. What does that mean? You know, give us a bit of an explanation. What does it include? Well, for me, it is knowing that um, someone such a great legend that um, his foundation believes in me. Uh, is is very special to me because they don't support everybody in Switzerland and knowing that I'm one of these athletes is it really gives me a push well you're number one in Switzerland at the moment yeah of course but it's not it doesn't mean anything so you're number one within your category but you told me like if you compare it all over Switzerland, you're what, 40, 41? Yeah, number 41, yeah. In so, the whole of Switzerland, which including mean, the pros. Like, adults, fill in the bench just everybody yeah. else. Just everyone, okay. Yeah, with a license. Mm -hmm. But what does this um, support by the foundation mean exactly? What do you get in, from them? How do they support you? They support financially. The foundation. Uh, the foundation is uh, from a financial point, mm -hmm. which, you know, is, is good to acknowledge the talents and to encourage them. Mm -hmm. 
So I will not say it is paying half of the the, <laughs> half the, of bills. the, the, the bills, yeah, but you know, every small penny, you know, adds up and it, it, it makes a difference. So. Okay. so we are thankful for that. You even played once with Roger Federer, right? Yes. So that must have been amazing. Uh, and what you also did, I mentioned that you are also singing. In 2014, uh, Roger Federer had his match for Africa at the Holland Stadion. There exactly. you even sang, right? Yeah, it was, it was a really great event. And it was one of the most special events for me because usually when I'm invited to go somewhere, I sing. But this day I was able to sing and play tennis. And this in front of 11,000 people in the stadium and even more watching on TV. So it was like, I was really nervous, but not because of the singing, because I was quite used to it. It was more because of the tennis. Why? <laughs> because Roger <laughs> Water is there. This too, and because of all the audience. I never played in front of so many people, <laughs> but I managed it quite well. And I was really happy that I was able to be like, seen as a singing tennis player. That's actually your goal, right? Yes. Someday. You told me once that uh, Serena Williams is, is your role model, but you yeah. want to be the singing one. Yeah. <laughs> right? How do you picture that? Well, I picture this, for example, I'm playing the French Open and I will, at the opening, I'll be the one to sing and the next day I'll have my match. Tell us a little bit, how was that encounter with Roger Federer? Was there anything that you, you know, surprised you? Yeah, it was really nice meeting him. He's a very sympathetic guy. And first it was just like, wow. Like, I mean, you know someone, seeing him on TV and then he's standing in front of you, talking to you. And playing you're against like, you? Yeah, playing with you. Yeah, with this, you. Was, this was really amazing, yeah. Um, maybe, Cabby, a bit um, about, you know, we're talking about all those sacrifices, how much it takes. Um, you have uh, private people helping uh, Chelsea out as well, right? How, how does that work? How, how do people approach you in that process, you know? Do people just come up and see Chelsea on TV and think, you know, they want to support her? Or how does that happen? Well, I will not say so much like that. We have, you know, a small team that's, you know, working in her interests. Like um, now the, our coach is, is the manager. So, you know, it's also his job to call up, you know, places and, yeah, tell them, you know, Chelsea's really a future star, you know, that she, she needs that help. You also have a car being sponsored, like Suzuki. Yes, uh, I gave Suzuki. you a car. Uh, so how does that look like? Is it just a car that you can drive for free or do you also get money? You know, do you get extra financing well, for Suzuki, it? Suzuki, they don't give extra money, but we have a car every year, you know. They give us a new model, which is uh, very good. I mean... Federer didn't have a sponsor car when he was just his age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we are very happy. What is also interesting is that you go to a private school, Land Podium, yes, exactly. which is also supporting, supporting you. Supporting, yeah. yeah. I mean, how does that happen? You well, in, in all the areas, you know, in all the areas where, you know, the help is needed, you know, the help is there for now. And yeah, we are believers, you know, we, we are Christians and this is why we pray as a family. And we believe uh, the answers are coming, you know. Yeah. And how much does it help for you to, you know, go to this private school in order so you can focus on your tennis career? Do you see any difference if you were going yeah. to another school? It is a very big help because any other way without the private school it wouldn't be possible because um, I've come to a stage where I need to practice very intensely and going to school until five o'clock 
when can I practice? So it's like with the private school, it is amazing that I can go to school in the morning and in the afternoon I have, uh, I have the, the afternoon free yeah. and time to, to practice. Can you walk us through how does uh, your schedule, a daily schedule look like? Do you train every day or? Yeah, I train Monday to Friday. Yeah. And the weekends I have tournaments or sometimes dr during the week. And it also ha often happens that I'm not there in school because I'm at an international tournament and these are during the week. So, so you, don't, you don't have a lot of free time, huh? For anything else. <laughs> well, I mean, when you set a goal, like you have a vision, you invest a lot of time and I actually see it not really as a, a must or like a loss that I maybe cannot do things other teenagers usually do because I know that one day I'll be enjoying my life too and I'm working hard now so I know it will pay off someday. But you enjoy what you're doing right now as well? Of course I am, yeah. I love what I do and if you don't love what you do, you will not do it for very long. I believe so. It's incredible. I mean, if you have so many talents, uh, you play tennis, and you're number one in Switzerland in your category. Uh, then you sing. Uh, oh yeah, you sing. At, you also have a partnership with UNICEF, right? Yes. So you sing at their galas. Yeah, um, I am visiting them this year for the sixth time. And um, with UNICEF Switzerland, um, they are um, my partner in like this year I produced my first song, Showers of Blessings. And I decided that my first song I will ever produce will be to help children in need. And I just thought UNICEF would be the perfect platform for me to, to start. So you donate the money that you actually earn with your CD? Yes, exactly. The online streaming, all the, all the, the proceeds, proceeds from, from there, yeah. it goes to UNICEF Switzerland. Even though you could actually use the money for your own career? Yeah. Basically, yeah. But I, I said that my first song, definitely, because I think um, giving it, as, we, as my dad said, we're believers, we're Christians. And I see, like, my dad and I, we, we watch the news sometimes together. And it really makes us sad to see the people, or children especially, starving or not having clean water to drink. And if I know that I could make just a little difference, it, it already helps me. Uh, then another talent, which we didn't talk about, is that you even dubbed uh, a Hollywood movie called Annie, where Cameron Diaz and Jamie Foxx played in, and yes. you dubbed the voice of the main character. Will Stack schickt mich, um Annie zum Mittagessen abzuholen. Verhalten Sie mich so lange Sie wollen. <laughs> Sie schaffen. Danny, warte, bleib stehen! Yeah. Was rennst du so? Dann komme ich schneller an. Is this something that you would like to pursue? Um, yeah, well, it was it was really a great experience seeing like how how these movies are even made in different languages because it's it's really special. I mean, you're in a studio and you have like a TV screen in front of you and you like see the piece. Okay, this I need to say now, and sometimes it's like in the English maybe for a sentence you need four words and in German it's like seven words so like sometimes you need to talk a little faster or like also the situation in the movie like if it's a sad or a happy scene you you actually need to act yeah. and it was really it was really amazing experience in this so maybe you could do it again and finance your tennis career <laughs> with it. Well, if there's a second part in this movie, if the opportunity uh, definitely. Comes, yeah. Okay, <laughs> you, you would it again. be yeah. on it. Is there anything you know that you uh, are still trying to get in order to find or help the career of your daughter? What is still lacking? I must say, from the experience we've had, we 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 break it down as as a puzzle, you know. To complete the puzzle, you have to find all the right pieces and put them together, you know, to make it complete. And what's missing right now is basically, uh, you know, the finances to travel and to, you know, to cover the, the training cost and 
this, this is more or less the final piece of the puzzle. So, so there are championships that sometimes you cannot go, oh. that you would wish to, or you always manage to somehow go there? Well, in order to go to these championships, you need to travel to collect, to collect these points. Yeah. And if you don't have any points, you could never play at Junior Grand Slams right now. So you need to travel, you need to go places in order to collect these points. But there would, I mean, you already go to some places. Would there be more championships you could go to that at the moment are yes, not possible? For, for, now, for now, what we have been doing is to make use of the tournaments that are happening in the region. So yeah. if, when we could drive six hours, seven hours, that is within you know, our reach for now. So we, we jump in the car and, you know, we could uh, save like this. But we need to travel to Africa, we need to go to Asia, we need to, to, to go to America, China. That's where the tournaments are taking place. Yeah, the place. tournaments yeah, are the taking tournaments place are all, all, all yeah. over the place. And it's good when you could go over there as well. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, I wish you good luck on that. Thank you very much. And thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very yes. much for giving us this great opportunity.